John Jones versus Ngannou, will it happen? Nobody asked. <laughs> and it's, it's not going to happen. Okay, no. I'm kidding, bro. I think it's going to happen, okay? So, it's, so, uh, it's kind of... Let me talk, okay? You know, I, you know, I want to say today, okay? okay I want to say for okay. next minute, okay? Okay. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen next. I don't <laughs> think you're going to see Francis uh, versus Lewis anytime soon. You're going to see Francis versus John Jones. Yeah. It's going to be... In August, okay? That's that's my first prediction. You have to talk into the microphone. In August, okay? And then um, I think... I don't know you're so be, angry for. It's going to be a big heavyweight fight. The contract has to be signed. It's going to be signed. What's wrong with this guy? You see how close I am, right? Why yeah. Why don't you come tell us? How would you tell us? Anyways, go on. Yeah. yeah. It's not a minute. Keep talking. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's hard to talk about uh, these these topics that we, we that we talk about um, without mentioning other aspects of, of the situation. Um, but will John Jones versus Ngannou happen? There's a lot of um, ifs in the situation. Uh, John Jones, John Jones wants uh, an increase in pay. He feels like he's done enough in the light heavyweight division. He's done enough in the sport to to garner a pay bump, right? Whether that be for um for like promises made to him but also just like seniority right he wants more money right i'm going up to heavyweight i'm doing something that that's really not done very often the only other person that's really done it successfully is um is dc right and dc did get a pay pay raise um john jones versus nganu because of there's there's so many question marks i don't know if it happens next i could see Derek lewis happening next because <laughs> he's eating 11 bro he's eating 11 what the hell Yo, is this <laughs> weird i don't i don't get it i don't honestly bro i don't get it he's eating 11 okay what does that have to do with john jones and god he's truly at 11 <laughs> what the hell anyways there's a guy behind the camera <laughs> and he just walked up and grabbed a lemon and he's Sorry. just eating it he's like sucking on it uh, okay anyways pause <laughs> so um i i could see Derek Lewis being thrown in there because Derek Lewis is down to, to fight, right? Especially for the title. He's on a hot streak and he's he's always been a person that's that's been willing to fight um, um, and he doesn't really get paid as much as all these other guys. Uh, the other option that I could see is uh, Stipe fighting for that for the title. Um, if things get sour with, with John Jones and say with Derek Lewis, there's um, maybe there's injuries or, or they, things, timelines don't work out. I think... Uh, Francis versus Stipe could actually happen for a rematch. Um, yeah, but you want to see it happen now? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's one one. Why? Why not? Give Stipe a rest. <laughs> Let the guy retire. So peace. that that might be that might be the timing, right? Maybe eight months from now, this, this John Jones fight still is not resolved, and then they face uh, Stipe. Sorry, Francis versus Derek Lewis, and Derek Lewis loses to Francis. Now, what do you what are you left with? You're left with Francis. Uh, sorry, you're with, left with Stipe or John Jones. Brock Lesnar. So <laughs> Brock Lesnar comes back into the Usada pool. Why not, bro? No, he has to face Islam Akhachev first. So. Islam, tell these guys. So I I don't I I right now it's very very hard for me to um, say John Jones versus uh, Francis Ngannou is going to happen next. There are just so many things going on right now, and the UFC never backs down, right? And the UFC does not care. Um, just like you, right? I know he does not care what your demands are. They know what they're worth. They know what they are willing to pay their fighters, and they won't negotiate. There's only a couple of people that have done it. Uh, GSP uh, made the UFC cave in with the Bisping fight, and Jorge, thank Jorge you. Masvidal yeah. made them cave in for the Usman fight. Um, there, there's a couple others, and Connor kind of made the UFC cave in, but they they were more of like a partnership. They did something that they've never done before. Now. John Jones coming in and saying, hey, I want more money or else I'm not going to fight Francis Ngannou. Well, the UFC is like, okay, whatever. Like, Francis you Ngannou, hope, mate. Francis Ngannou, <laughs> Francis Ngannou is going to make money uh, for the UFC, regardless if he faces uh, John Jones or not. Yes, it's a spectacle, but uh, Francis versus all these other guys and knocking him out, all that kind of stuff, turns into its its own thing. Uh, do they necessarily need uh, John Jones to fight Francis? Not really, right? Uh, it, it's a lot of hardcores that would would like to see that. Um, I don't know how much the public would would be, would be drawn to that fight. A million buys? I don't think it does a million buys. Um, maybe nowadays, actually, COVID. But if times. it happens, will there be full crowd or no? <laughs> yeah, in Florida, bro. <laughs> All those guys are vaccinated or, or or already had it already. So am I. 
Yeah. You don't have the second shot, though. One's enough for me. 